Hello! Yesterday I received a package from China from PCBGOGO with these breakout boards which I will be using in a course with my students at the university in Uppsala. And uh, these are breakout boards which are based around a 80 mega 32U4 microcontroller and uh, they will be used in a microcontroller programming course. So PCBGOGO sent them in this form. They are in a panel with 10 boards and they are populated, completely populated. And uh, the only thing which is missing is the bootloader so far. So now I have to install the bootloader on 100 of these boards. And this may sound like a lot, but actually I want to show you how quick this can be done. I have this little rig here, which is also made by PCBGOGO, and uh, it allows me to test all the pins, all the GPIO pins of the breakout board, but it allows me also to program the bootloader by using an USB ASP programmer here. And uh, so everything is connected, and uh, from the pin here, from the header here, it goes to the programming pins up here. So in order to do this, what I have to do is I have to first make this cake, this panel a bit smaller. I have to remove the edges, which is quite easy because everything is v-scored. And so I break them off like this and uh, they fall easily off like this. And I also have to make them in the board into two strips. So I break them along the middle V score into two halves like this. And now let's concentrate on this half here and start by programming the first of them. So we have the pin header. Oh, one pin is bent here this so and I put it into the rig and put the jumper for the power supply back on and what we can see is that the power supply LED on the board itself on the breakout board lights up but also we see activity down here these are the JTAG pins and for the 80 mega 32 u4 the JTAG interface is enabled by default I will use fuse settings to disable the JTAG then because we don't use this in this course and that allows us to have four or five, four more GPIO pins. So in order to program it, I am using Avia Dudes and uh, here I have the bootloader uh, file, the hex file, which I want to program. I can just run a detect and check whether it uh, recognizes the board and the microcontroller and yes it lists down here that we have an 80 mega 32 u4 and everything seems fine so i will press program and it writes the flash and it verifies the flash and this was the first programming um, we see that now this LED here, which is connected to PE6 on the 80 mega 32 u 4 starts to blink. This is from the bootloader code, but we still have the JTAG enabled. So I will write the correct fuses um, to disable the JTAG. Now the green LEDs are gone. And I also will set the lock byte to 0x2f. And that was the first um, done. So now I move one position on in this strip here and I repeat the procedure. Programming, writing fuses, writing lock byte. What I didn't do now and, and we see that actually the bootloader acknowledges that everything is correct. What I didn't do, what I should do is of course disconnect the power before moving to the next board. I will do it now. And so we move to the next of the five, put on the jumper, program, program the fuses, 
and then now sometimes I don't know why here I got a verification error I do it again and then everything is okay and now we write the log byte as well and everything seems okay I will actually upload a test code to all these boards later on using the USB connector to check that even that works fine but that is another operation which I will do on the 100 boards. Code is written, LED is flashing, fuses and block byte and for some reason the fuses were also again ending up with a error. I have no idea, perhaps, no, I don't know. Okay, power's on, program, write, JTAG is off, writing the lock byte, and everything seems okay. Okay, and now I will have to pack them individually, so I just break them along the V-score line, which is between each of these boards. And um, yeah, that's it.